The COVID-19 vaccine is extremely safe for our children. We have a number of studies that uh, represent that. Uh, we've had a number of children already receive the vaccines and have been able to monitor those children closely. Um, and we feel very confident this is a safe and effective vaccine. I think it's important to remember we had a wealth of information about mRNA vaccines already under our belt before the pandemic started. So this helped speed up a lot of that initial research. This is an example as well of how we get everybody all hands on deck, everyone working as hard as they can uh, to get a really important vaccine available for our patients. Um, a lot of the bureaucratic red tape, some of the, the timelines that we normally see uh, were just eliminated because we knew this was so important. The parts of the process that are truly important not to cut corners were certainly done exactly the way they needed to be. The timelines to uh, administer the vaccines, to follow the side effects afterwards, to analyze that data, all that was done extremely appropriately. There were no corners cut. The COVID-19 vaccine in a lot of ways is no different than our other vaccines we have available. It's administered in the same way, um, either in the arm or in the leg, depending on the age of the child. Um, the doses are appropriate for the age of the child as well. Um, there's no special follow-up that has to happen after receiving a COVID-19 vaccine. And our side effects are quite similar to other vaccines, including fever, muscle aches, um, but most likely pain, redness, and, and swelling at the injection site. Because a vaccine is extremely safe, extremely effective, we do feel that, that that benefit greatly outweighs any potential risk to the vaccine, which really there are very minimal risks, if, if any, um, and the ones that we have noticed are things that we can um, take care of in the outpatient setting very easily. The risks of actually getting COVID-19 for our patients are quite significant. Uh, we see things like inflammation of the heart, um, chronic lung problems. Again, patients may need to be hospitalized um, and even can die again from COVID-19 infection. So the, the risk of actual infection are much higher than any risk with the vaccine.